Can we bring this old heritage back from the dead? Stay tuned. All right. So here's this pretty thing. It's a 1994 Heritage Nostalgia. Absolutely beautiful, in my opinion, for the year. Obviously, it's carbureted, and obviously, it's not a twin cam. It's an Evo. Um, she does not run. So, what we're going to start with, and what I know, is it will crank, but it's not getting no spark for one. And two, both tanks are super dirty. So... We're, what we're gonna do is hopefully, we're gonna take off the tanks. We are going to fill them up with some certain chemicals and stuff like that and get it all flushed out. And uh, I also noticed that the petcock was shut off, thankfully, but it's super loose. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so of course, the gas was just dripping the whole time all over everything. Uh, when he did put gas in it. Now, mind you, this uh, did sit for 128 days, I believe. That's what this gentleman said. Um, it was supposed to get work done, and it kind of did. Uh, he paid a guy to put this rear drive belt on, brand new. He was also supposed to tilt the bars forward, and he was also supposed to bleed the brakes because the front brakes are absolutely crap, mind you. You know, that uh, this brake system up here wasn't really strong to begin with. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get it running. We're going to, first of all, so we're going to take them off, clean the tanks, and go from there. I don't want to get no dirty fuel in the carburetor. We have not tried to really start it. So the carburetor looks absolutely clean, I bet. I would hope. We'll pop it all off. We'll take a gander at it. And we'll go from there. A few things that I want to throw in this video is the things that I've noticed. Um, obviously, it's missing a bolt up here. This whole headlight assembly is wobbly. This needs tightened down. Of course, it's leaking oil. Um, it's not my main concern right now. Yeah, those are going to be fun when we need to replace those, huh? Anyway, it's not my main concern right now. What I'm really worried about is getting this thing to even run. Um, <laughs> There's got to be some life in this old girl. Uh, we It does turn over. I did attempt that. She will turn over. But she ain't getting no spark. So we are going to pull that cover off right here and see what's going on in there. Uh, hopefully, maybe file down some points and get this thing running. Very, very pretty bike. You know, we, they just don't make them the same anymore, clearly. Got a couple new ones of our own right here, but it's nothing like this. Looking at the tank, I want to show you guys what condition these are in. Um, clearly, there's some rust in this tank and a lot of nasty varnish gas. And that's in both tanks. I'm going to go over here and take a gander at this one, too. This one. A little bit better condition, but uh, yes. The tanks are going to need pulled off, and we're going to need to clean them. Um, what I'm going to use for that is distilled water and vinegar. We're going to fill it up, shake them around, rinse them probably five times, so if you guys are doing this, make sure you buy a couple of gallons of both. And then after that, we are going to do a mixture of baking soda and cure it. Let's start tearing it down. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take off this seat. Now we're going to take off the cover for the air filter.
Obviously, you guys can't tell, and we're not going to know until I tap into the carburetor, but visual inspection, at least it looks pretty clean. Um, other than that, we're not going to mess with this right now. We're going to take the cluster gauge off and pull the bolts out, drop the lines, get these tanks off, and uh, continue from there. Before I get ahead of myself, take the dang battery out. At least I'm do one of the terminals. I don't care. Just so you don't arc off nothing, short something. Just just take one of the terminals off, or just take the battery out. It's a good time to put it on a trickle charger. You know, top it all off. Make sure it's healthy. You know, and go from there, guys. All right. It's a little screw in here, but I want to take it out so you can get this uh, analog spinny dial thing out so we can take this cluster actually off because it just won't come off. At least I'm not going to try. It's pretty easy just doing this. Just like that. Gosh, so nice. So old school. I love it. Pop this fuel line off. Holy hell. Um, think you need some new lines, buddy. Yeah, we're going to replace this line. So get your jug ready. She might have some fuel in her. I don't know. It's going to leak. Uh, not much. Sweet. Son of a... I don't care what you say, these are the right tool. Zip. Don't forget to take the pet cock off. Like I said, mine was loose. So I just unscrewed it. Easy work. Yeah, I picked up purified water. So come with me. Let's go get distilled water real quick. So now that we got the right stuff to flush these tanks, let's go ahead and uh, pop these caps off and start. Vinegar.
this is what the end results look like. This tank, these tanks were not really that dirty, but there's a lot of stuff at the bottom of this bucket. I'm gonna go dump it out and uh, go from there. So obviously that's not all of it, but that's what was in these tanks. So here's the scoop. We are going to put this in a time lapse. This video is already too long. We're going to change the plugs, fuel lines, get the bike all put back together, uh, file down some points, check everything over, and then we're fired up for the first time. Let's do this. You okay? Okay, sorry. Ah, I got a freaking lump now. Son of a b See if this thing fires up. I'm gonna see if it's getting fuel. Mm -mm. 
bin now to get fuel. Give this a couple hits. Pull the choke out. Here goes nothing.
Rockstar. And it's uh, 40 degrees right now, so, wow, 45, I think. It's close to there. Anyway, it's a cold start. She's gonna be stubborn. Mm, choke it. a little cold. Hey, let's try this again. this thing a good bath and take it for a ride. All right guys, here it is. What an awesome bike to work on. I absolutely love these old bikes. 
Absolutely love the sound of the Evo engine and how simple it is to work on. Obviously, it's not a fast bike. She vibrates. Sure, she's not like all these new bikes with fuel injection and the high output twin cams or even the M8 motors. But still, guys, this is one bad to the bone bike. I think the point that I'm trying to get at here is you don't need cruise control, you don't need ABS, you don't need a radio. All you need is a motorcycle. If that's what makes you happy in life, you know, you can have a bad day and go ahead and get off work and jump on your motorcycle and just start riding. That makes me feel better every time. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, consider subscribing and please like it. That helps me out. Uh, it took me a while to make this video. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. This is where